Hello there guys, Wayne here from Lunar's World. I hope you're well. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator and this is the video that a lot of people have been waiting for. We are checking out the beautiful Honeycomb uh, Throttle Quadrant um, in conjunction with the Honeycomb uh, Yoke here. So really looking forward to showing you um, this and uh, having some fun. So um, I thought I would set up a quite a challenging flight. So we're, in, uh, we're on an island just off of Malaysia. And as you can see, the weather is pretty rough. It's uh, stormy, rainy, windy, and um, not great visibility. Um, and yeah, so I thought I would try and make a challenging flight using this um, new gear and just seeing how it all goes. So I'm really excited to be doing this. Um, I hope my arm isn't gonna get in the way too much here in the picture. But yeah, um, let's get things um, started up. So what I might do is, shall I lift the camera up and show you guys? I think I will. Yeah, so I'm gonna just lift this up here. Excuse my desk, it's a little bit messy. And so we'll just take a quick sort of walk around. So of course I am gonna be using, let's go under this way. I am gonna be using these uh, buttons here to start the um, aircraft up. And we have the mags over there. And of course the yoke. And then here is the throttle quadrant. I've got it set up. Um, kind of as a hybrid sort of a type of a thing. We've got the um, uh, throttle, we have prop, which I don't think we have prop control in this aircraft and mixture. And I have my, um, I have my, my uh, yaw or my rudder set to this because I don't have rudder pedals at the moment. So we're not gonna use the um, autopilot today. Let me just put this back. So that's kind of just a quick little uh, tour showing you how it's set up. Um, let me just reposition the camera a little bit. That's a bit better. Okay, let it refocus. Cool. Okay, so I guess let's get this thing started up first of all. So we will... Um, just have a quick look around, just quick familiarization with this. I'm not sure if that's open or closed actually. Let me just come across here. Okay, I think, I think we're good there. Okay, so I'm gonna do this entirely by the honeycomb yoke. So I'm gonna turn my beacon on and my strobe because of the weather. And yeah, master battery was already on. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And there isn't a fuel pump uh, button on here, but I could assign one to uh, one of these buttons here. In fact, it might already be assigned, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, just for now, we're gonna use the, m the mouse here. Okay, and then we're gonna turn this and clear prop. There we go. Let's do our fuel pump off, so we are started. And everything looking good. Is he gonna try and push us back? He might do. All right, let's turn our avionics on. Not that we're gonna need it today. Set the barrow and, well, these should be full forward anyway. Oh, we do have prop control, that's cool. All right, so I've got the tension uh, kind of to what I would feel is realistic for this aircraft. I've not flown this aircraft before, that being said. So let's release the parking brake. I've got a button here assigned to that. Give it a little bit of power. And we'll get on our way. Okay, so as you can see, we're very, very close to the runway here. So we'll turn nav lights and our um, landing lights on. Just give it a little bit more power, get out onto the runway. And 
get us lined up. Beautiful. All right, not a very nice day for flying, that's for sure, but if I can fly in these conditions, then hopefully I can fly in pretty much anything within reason. All right, let's go ahead and set the parking brake then, set our flaps, and just double check everything. I think we're all good to go. So, yeah, okay. Release the brake and take off power set. There we go, not quite sure what happened there. All right, so one hand on the rudder, one hand on the yoke, and power will just have to uh, manage as best we can. All right, nose is coming up, we didn't set the trim. She wants to fly, so up we go. And yeah, very, very windy, so we're just going to have to make sure we clear those trees. Oh, I've so missed flying with a yoke. I really have. It's absolutely beautiful, especially this yoke. So I'm just going to trim here. So we're going to go for a little bit of nose up, just to get us in a nice climbing position. Because we're getting thrown about by the wind, I want to kind of take that pressure off the yoke as much as possible so that we can, um, you know, have it nicely trimmed out. So I can focus on trying to maintain runway heading. Just throwing a little bit of rudder in there. Okay, that's looking good. As you can see, we're flying directly into the wind here. So that's why we're, we've got very, very, um, slow ground speed but that will change as we do uh, our um, left hand turn which will start now. I'm going to go flaps up as well and uh, pulling back a little bit on the yoke trying to make this as smooth as possible but whew, scary yeah and visibility closing in Look at that, holy cow. All right, let's come back off the throttle now because now we're going into a tailwind. And we're just gonna have a little fly around the mountains, come back and then try and land. Now I did see a video complaining about a dead zone in this. I think they fixed it. I can't feel a dead zone at all. I can make tiny, tiny little adjustments here. And it feels good. It's very, very smooth. Um, I did feel like the, um, the yoke was a little bit heavy, but I think I've got used to it now. So now it's kind of, it feels really natural. All right, getting battered about here. I'm gonna go nose down a little bit on the trim. Okay. And, ooh. Right, let's do a right hand turn then. I'm trying to keep that nose down. So pretty much IMC conditions here. So watching my vertical speed as we make that turn. Right, and I'm going to use that island over there as my landmark, so I'm going to head over towards there. A little bit of nose down. Beautiful. Okay, I think we're pretty much trimmed. Now you might, hopefully you'll notice, I'm using very little control on the throttle. Um, and that's a really good sign. That means that 
you know, calibration and everything like that is really, really good. And I don't have to make huge movements, which shows the um, fidelity of the uh, of the uh, yoke here. Just got them both on there. All right, let's turn. Uh, I suppose we'll keep our taxi um, landing lights on, but we'll turn our taxi lights off. Looking good. So the hat switch um, took a little bit of getting used to it. It's quite far up on this um, part of the yoke here, but again, I'm used to it now, so it's not a problem. And it's very, very comfortable. The yoke, I have to say, it's uh, really lovely to grip. Cue dirty jokes. All right, let's come back off that throttle now. And we'll make our turn in. And we'll try and go and find the runway, I guess. Should be fun. All right, so we're going to fly into that cove. And then um, we're going to fly pretty low into that cove over a kind of a mountain. Well, not a mountain, a hill. And then the runway should be, with any luck, just over the hill. Now we're going to have visibility issues. We're only going to see the runway at the last minute. So this is kind of almost like simulating an emergency situation where we perhaps are flying VFR and we run into this weather, unexpected weather, and we've got to get her down before it gets any worse, basically. Maybe I'm a non-IMC rated pilot and I've got myself into this um, potentially very dangerous situation. All right, so I would be panicking. I'd be thinking, oh my goodness, I knew I took off from the cove over there. Let's hope we can bring her in. Getting bumped around. We've got to come in low so that we can actually see the uh, um, airfield, give it a little bit more power. And nose down a little bit. Okay, looking good. Go first stage of flap. Just control that ballooning. Oh man, the visibility really has gotten bad. So you can see how we're getting pushed here. Now I don't actually remember, I've got a sneaky feeling that the airfield is down this valley here but let's see I'm gonna play it safe first I'm gonna go I think I remember going over this town so maybe it's just over here anyway test my navigation skills yeah it doesn't look like it's this way okay so what I'm gonna do is kind of abort that, so we'll go flaps up, and we're going to just increase the throttle a bit, and we're going to just fly over here. Hopefully I can make visual contact with the runway without crashing into these trees. Oh, very, very turbulent here. Now we know we're clear in terms of terrain the other side here, so, okay, we are stalling. Alright, 
I'm going to dip the wing. Is it down there? It's blooming well not, is it? Okay. Right. Fun. Okay, I have an idea. Definitely starting to feel the panic now. Can't find the airfield. Is there a way, guys, maybe you can help me here, to reduce the sensitivity of this of the hat switch? Um, I noticed it on my uh, SciTech as well. I, it's just too sensitive. I want to slow it down, basically. Any ideas on how to do that, if that's possible? All right, so now let's, um, let's make a left-hand turn. struggling in this wind. Pull back on the throttle a little bit just to give us that extra turning power. And there's a huge cloud right. Oh man, visibility really has drawn in. So this is actually probably a no-go in terms of trying to land. So it might be more sensible to fly around to the other side of the mountain sorry, outside of the island and see. But I'm gonna, gonna persevere a little bit. Be only because it's a simulator. If this was real life, obviously I'd be uh, trying to get out of this soup as much as possible. So now focusing purely on instruments. Trying to keep it level, trying to keep the vertical speed, I want to stay above a thousand feet for safety. But as you can see, I've got nothing visual out the window, so this is bad. Okay, I can see some trees, the tree line now. Okay, it's cleared a little bit, that's good. So what I'm going to do is fly over these trees here and again see if we can see the runway from the other side. Looks like we've been spared on the visuals a little bit, which is good. Still battling the wind though. Okay, scary stuff. So I think one of these buttons will take us outside, yeah. And the great thing about this is that it's all set up really and ready to go within Microsoft Flight Simulator. I haven't really been able to get the um, autopilot working fully um, and also the gear up uh, lights. So I don't know whether there's an extra uh, driver or something coming. But um, yeah, so that's only, that's been the only issue really. All right, now I think that the airfield is down that valley. I hope. I really don't want to have to use the map. I kind of want to do this. I think we're good. I think, I think it's there. I think I see it. Yeah, okay, we're good. All right, so I'm going to start slowing the aircraft down. We'll start getting some flaps out. We're just within the flap range there. So we'll go to flap one and we can breathe a sigh of relief to some extent that we've got this nice bit of visibility here. Now the problem is, is that because we've come in this way, we are dealing with a tailwind, but that's kind of okay. 
All right, full flap now. And I'm going to put in some rudder. Grabbing in quite considerably. And I'm not sure this might be a go around just because of the speed, but let's see. Oof. So I'm, I'm an idle on the throttle because of that tailwind that should die down as we get closer to the ground whoa bouncy bouncy and let's try and give it a nice smooth landing we'll kick that rudder out here we go come on let's get the wheels down good all right and we'll just give it some right aileron all right, not too bad, not too bad. That was kind of doable. At least we're alive, we're on the ground. But a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, the realism that this set adds is just amazing. It really is. Um, I haven't had a yoke for, maybe since I reviewed the Brunner yoke couple of years ago so two years of using a flight stick and you know it's been okay but coming back to this after the initial kind of getting used to it which took a couple of days that's why I haven't put the video out um, as early as I'd liked but now that um, I'm used to it and I mean it's just an absolute joy to fly with it looks great they look really good side by side um, and it just the quality of the build is really, really nice. Um, the experience of flying with it is incredible. There's, there's, there's no dead zone that I can feel with this um, at all. You can make tiny, tiny movements and adjustments. Hopefully you saw there, even in crazy weather, I'm not kind of battling it like this. I'm really just making tiny, small adjustments, which is much more realistic. Um, so I really like that really fantastic this gets a huge huge thumbs up from me um, I think they've done an incredible job there's going to be a lot of people happy when they get their um, throttle quadrants in the post uh, hopefully not too long I know they've had um, some setbacks and things but guys it's really worth the wait I promise you you're gonna love this thing it's it's fantastic and of course if you've got the yoke already then you already know about the build quality and the standard of the engineering behind it but um yeah i can't wait to do more videos on this and if there's anything you want to see in particular um you know i, I really want to do a full airliner uh set up and, and and check out that and some twin stuff as well so we've got that coming but let me know if there's anything you want to see maybe um we'll fire up a 747 or something so we've got the four um uh, thrust levers and things and we'll get it all set up for airliners I do have the speed brake one in here it's worth saying it's really nice how these pop on and off um, there is I think there's some magnets it looks like there's some contacts there that just make it um, you know that just uh, you need just the right amount of pressure to pull it and to make it um, to, to get the thing off so it's really really cool Anyway, guys, that's about it for today. Hope you've enjoyed this flight. Um, I think I've just about calmed down from it. Um, I hope it wasn't too terrifying for you. And I hope this has given you a good idea about how these uh, two, um, the Alpha and the Bravo, work together in tandem in a, just the most fantastic way. It's going to really bring another level of realism to your simulator. But anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for Honeycomb uh, for sending these out and letting me review them. Um, absolutely, you know, excuse the pun, but bravo. There you go. I've been wanting to get that joke in there for a long time. <laughs> My work here is done. Thank you, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon. Take care.